the deep sea, one of the most extreme places on earth. Down here, creatures don't just survive, they look nothing like anything we're used to. Take the blobfish, for example. In the crushing pressure of the deep, its body works perfectly. But bring it to the surface? It turns into that squishy, sad-looking face we've all seen. Then there's the snailfish. Believe it or not, the deepest fish ever recorded lives over 8,300 meters down in the trench. Its body is so soft and jelly-like that if you pulled it up, it would literally melt Dot and the Dumbo octopus, yes. It really has ear-like fins, it flaps. To swim, because normal jet propulsion doesn't work under such pressure, with no sunlight, some animals have evolved massive eyes to see the tiniest glimmer. Others, like the barelli fish, have a completely see-through head, so they can soak up every photon of light. Many are even transparent themselves, like glass octopuses and sea angels, because down here, you don't need pigment. You need to disappear dot food? Scarce. Others, like anglerfish, use glowing lures to attract dinner in the darkness. But survival isn't just about food. It's about finding each other. In the deep sea, that's rare. So male anglerfish literally fuse into the female's body, living as a parasite whose only job is reproduction. They may look bizarre to us. Squishy bodies, giant teeth, glowing lures, but in their world. This is perfection. Down here, in the silent dark, they're not monsters. They're masterpieces.